Are you smarter than the average person? Statistically, half of you should be saying no. So let's make it a little bit easier. Are you smarter than the average esports pro? It might seem like a dumb question, but think about it. Someone who dedicated their life to be amazing at just one thing must have let some things slip through the cracks. Their general knowledge is probably pretty bad. Or at least, that's my theory. And I wanted to test this theory. So I got two of the greatest esports players of all time to go against two average people to find out who's actually smarter. For the control test, I thought of the two most average people I could think of, my best friend and my stepfather. Our first contestant, my best friend and a 33-year-old man with a college degree. Welcome to the car slime, how you doing? What's up, my bear? How you doing? And your teammate today, a 59-year-old stepfather of me. I think he went to Columbia University. Welcome, Peter. Hey, how are you doing? Doing well. It was, it was Columbia, yeah. You went to yeah. Columbia? I did. He also, ser he also served. He also served. You served? Yep. Serving looks. Say that much. Well, not in the army. Okay. The first person, he's the best in the world at Super Smash Bros. Melee. It's Zane. Come on, Zane. Welcome to the car. How you doing, baby? Good. We're doing carpool karaoke. A little, a little close to carpool karaoke. And the other person we have is the goat of Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mango. Wait, what'd you call me? Love that introduction. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh. Just get in the, just get in the car. Like top five, dude. The game is called Mobile Money. It's basically a ripoff of Cash Cap. And the way it works is simple. There are three total rounds, easy, medium, and hard, and five questions per round. If you get one right on the first round, $50, then $100, then $200. Whichever team ends up with more money wins. But to make things a little bit spicier, I added a final question. In that final question, you'd be able to wager up to $1,000, AKA you could make a lot of money or lose it all. Now to answer the one question, who's smarter, esports pros or your average person? This video is not sponsored by Toyota, by the way, but they did give me this Prius to use, so thank you to Toyota. I'm ready. I'm ready to earn an, an assorted amount of gift cards. Affirmative. Okay, let's jump into it. Our first easy question, name the three states of matter. You got this one. Yeah. This is easy. Yeah. You got it? You get, Peter's got it. Do I need a buzz? No, you know, no buzzer. Just okay. talk with Mango, I figure it out. I have no idea. It's uh, solid, liquid, and gas. That's final answer. Final answer. <laughs> but Mango, you have no idea? <laughs> I have Wait, what zero was idea. What would you have said? <laughs> 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 All right, now we I, got I, this. I don't even well, know it doesn't matter, matter. it doesn't matter. You don't need it because you're a team. Zane, congratulations. That was correct. You carried the Zane Mango tier. Solid, gas, and liquid. Correct. Great job, Peter. 59 years pays off. Going to our next question. Plasma's the fourth one. Uh, wait, wait, there's four? No. You, what? <laughs> what do you say no? I learned this in school. No, nah, I'm with Peter on this one. Okay, Shut well, up. I, I, I was Stop just talking. Fuck, I was fucking us. around. I was, Stop I was, talking. I was, I was making a joke. Weird. I was making a joke. I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> next question. You're both American. Uh -huh. Okay. Name the vice president. It's the girl, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll, let, I'll let Peter field this one. Tony's. <laughs> Kamala Harris. Okay, thank you, Peter. <laughs> Kamala Harris. Uh, you gonna let him field everyone, Slime? I mean, Jeff, he's doing so well. No, we're 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 we're, we're, we're collaborating here. Yeah. Like Tamika. Fuck it's, it. it's Kamala. <laughs> Kamala. Harris. Kamala Harris. That's right. <laughs> okay, that is correct. A hundred dollars locked up. Zane seems to be carrying, but don't feel bad, Mango, because same thing happened in the previous round. Uh, Peter was carrying Slime. All right. Well, let's go to question three. You're at a hundred dollars. These are the easy ones. What is the largest bone in the human body? I think this one is the is the femur. Why well, is my, my first instinct is funny bone? That's not good. I'm down to just ride funny bone. No. <laughs> we can't just say funny bone. Why? What about like the femur? Are we locking this in Lock or is it, it funny yeah. bone? Lock it in. Lock femur. It. That is correct. Oh, let's go. Where did that come from? I, it's the only one that I know by name. We're gonna say final answer to the femur. Lock it in, $150. So smart. We're so yeah. smart and cool. Did we you both know, know karate. Combined your age is 92. Next question. <laughs> Roughly how many stars are in our solar system? You got, you got anything? <laughs> Feel free to talk Come on! between yourselves. I got that, dude. When it comes to shit like this, I know nothing. If it's roughly, it's got to be like a million, billion, trillion, right? <laughs> I, tell you, I won't accept that. I won't accept a million, billion, trillion. No, 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 like one, one of, of those. Oh, know? okay. Oh. <gasps> Dude! Okay, Peter's gonna mix your dumb ass up on this one. Hit him. Hit him with it. One. Wow. 
You were fool. Were you fooled a little bit, Slav? A hundred percent. I was like, that sounds. That sounds like a hard question. There is only one star in our solar system. It's known as the sun. Oh Great Jesus! Job. Jesus Christ! That's not. <laughs> That's not exclusive to our solar system. That's actually so true. Um, I mean, it's so endless. It's, 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 it's got to be, yeah, it's a trillion. That is incorrect. The correct answer, one star, it's known as the sun. Did Peter get that right? Yes, they did get that one correct. <laughs> that was an easy one. Did he that. laugh and scoff at how easy it was? Yeah, he went, he went trick question. Slime, oh, it's one star. Oh no. And then, and then they nailed it. We are on to our final question on the easy round. Name the second largest country in the world by land size. Oh, the second. <gasps> okay. Uh, we're, we're gonna say, final answer, Canada. You're locking in our northern brothers? Absolutely. That's correct. Let's go! Yeah! Oh my God. Second? Yeah. There's a lot of people in China. That's true. I, I do know that. It's the second largest population, <laughs> I know that. Well, surely they have a lot of space. Yeah, let's say Russia. Russia. That is incorrect. China. That is the largest country in the world. Uh -huh. The second largest is Canada. Can what? It's the Canadians. Fucking Canada. Did Peter get that? Peter got that. What? This is easy, bro. Peter got, got that. I'm getting a little carried in the easy section. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. You haven't done shit. That's not true. That's not. It is true. Well, you guys went five for five on the easy round, mostly thanks to Peter, but five for five is five for five. You've locked up $250. Are you guys ready for the medium round? It's gonna be a little harder. Not for us. <laughs> All right. Sounds for, good. Not for this equal team of brains. Well, wouldn't say that. Nobody in this car would. $100 for every question answered correctly. There are five total. First question, who invented gunpowder? Specifically, in which country was gunpowder invented? This one's easy. It's gotta be China. I was gonna say France. They started the musket, no? <laughs> <laughs> China. Final answer? Yeah. That is correct. Curse the Chinese That's for inventing good. gunpowder. That's from the rehearsal. Yes. It turns out that you learn watching TV. Did you see the, the Nathan For You show? No. Okay, well me and Ludwig watched that one. That... First the Chinese for inventing yeah, gunpowder. Right. Yeah. Uh, it, we're gonna say final answer, China. Final answer, China, that is correct. Let's go. First them indeed. It's oh. crazy that you knew that without watching a current TV show where it's a joke. Yeah, that is a good question. Peter, how did you know that? Um, I'm a Renaissance man. That's what Columbia transformed me into. Does that just mean you sit on Wikipedia for too long? Nah, I'm just a nerd. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Next question. What is the largest human organ? It's a trick question. It's a skin. Ah, it's not a trick <gasps> question. I mean, it's called the large intestines. Is that the one that like goes like this? It's like 100 miles long? I think you're right. The thing, right? Yeah, like, the thing. What's the final answer? Large intestines. The large intestines. Yeah. Multiple? You make me feel like a dumbass. I'm just asking questions. Me and Peter have come to a conclusion. <laughs> the, lar the, human, the largest human organ is the skin, final answer. Okay, it doesn't feel like you and Peter came to a conclusion. It feels like Peter has come to many conclusions. But Peter is part of the team, so you have locked up $450. Let's Good job, Peter. Together. So, well, Peter and Tony Starr. Yeah, Peter and Tony Starr. Perhaps a trick question, because you think <laughs> of organs inside the body, but the skin is an organ. Maybe it's the liver. <laughs> I'm down with liver. Liver's pretty big, I've well, seen pictures. Let's go with the liver. That is incorrect. What was it? The correct answer, the skin. What? The skin is the largest organ. No way organ. Peter got that. Which two countries share the longest land border? I think it's Russia and China. Maybe it's like Chile or something kind of goofy. Don't say it like that. Us in Mexico, fuck it. Yeah? <laughs> it's pretty long. <laughs> We're going with US and Mexico. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> what is it? It's US and Canada. Oh, it's just the other sense. side. We, sense. we can't go back to Canada. We can't, we can't keep that's farming the, That's pretty wild. Let's go for it. The United States of America Canada. and Canada. Sure you don't want to go with Russia? No, could be it. That is correct. It oh, is the US go. and Canada. Dude, I almost I blew love it. Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's a sentence that I've said my stepfather is saying out loud. Canada has had it too good, Peter, for too long. It's true, Peter. Next question here. What is the Roman name for the Greek hero, Hercules? Roman stuff is my wheelhouse, Peter. Well, it's gotta be a planet, right? <laughs> No hints. It's gotta be a planet. <laughs> no hints. Maybe, maybe it's like Hercules. Is it? Are you just saying Hercules with some swag? Yes. Hercules. 
Yes. I'll give it to you. The so correct why, answer. Why would you just give it to him? The correct He's answer is me. Because the correct answer is Hercules. It is the same. The same thing. It's okay. the same thing. It's yeah, a trick question. It's the same thing, but sauce. Peter's gonna let me defer to, to myself on this one. Tony Starr and Peter, the team, the dream team, is gonna say Heracles. Final answer. That is the first incorrect answer from your team today. The correct answer. Hercules. No, you piece of shit. The Greek name for the hero Hercules is Heracles, but the Roman name is Hercules. Oh, dude. Although perhaps a little more well known because the movie Hercules. Yeah, and Danny DeVito as the ill. <gasps> Well, look, it was a trick question, I won't lie. I tried to throw you guys off, and right. I successfully did, but you got every other question correct, and you still locked up $550. Okay. So let's go to the final medium question before we get to the hard ones. How many keys does a piano have? 27. No way. <laughs> More? Yeah. A piano can have a lot of keys. 88 is the, is the max size, an 88 key piano. I have no idea. Really? This is all on you. I might know this one. I'm gonna say, we are gonna say 88 keys, final answer. Lock it in. Slime, you've actually impacted the team in a positive way. Congratulations, $100. Yes. Yes. Let's go. $650 total. 80 something sounds like some trivia that I've heard before. It's either 82 or 86, and I don't know why I have that in my head. So close. Okay. We're on to the hard round. Every correct question gets you $200. Okay. First question is a bit of a tough one. The first five presidents mm -hmm. were all founding fathers. They're the only presidents to be founding fathers. What are their names? George Washington. Okay. That's one. I'll see if you miss any. Uh, <laughs> yeah, check his work. <laughs> really good idea there, Slide. Work. Let yeah, him work. answer, just make sure to check John it. John Adams. Yeah, he's on the $10 bill. No, he's not. <laughs> George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and John Quincy Adams. Mango, anything to add in? Sounds good. That is incorrect. It was a fifth. You actually named the first four presidents and then the sixth president. John Quincy Adams was not wanting the founding fa uh, one of the founding fathers. The fifth was James Monroe. Monroe. <laughs> Don't shake your head. <laughs> you gotta know that, bro. I think we, this is a wall. I don't know it. If you don't know it. I don't know. I, I don't know who the other two are. Uh, All right. Well, we're gonna say George Washington, John Adams, and Thomas two Jefferson. Adams. You guys giving up here? Yeah. yeah. This is the hard round, so don't beat yourselves up. You were close. The final two we were looking for is Monroe and Madison. Yeah, don't Monroe you work in law? So they don't test you this when you do your, your job. No. That's some bullshit. Wow, this, this round is gonna be hard for you guys. At what temperature does water boil? That one's easy. Yeah. I once made fun of a girl I was dating because she didn't know this, and then I asked the whole group. I was like, hey, do you guys know how what temperature water boils at? And most of the group, you guys didn't know. So I just looked like a jerk. Yeah, it's just weird to make fun of people in general for their lack of knowledge. She just did it. She was so off. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna say 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius. Final answer. You guys are right on the money. Two hundred dollars. That was order that, that, sh that should have been in the medium. That should have been an easy round. We'll see, right? We'll see because we're gonna jump over to the Smashers car and see how esports pros do compared to two normies like you. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they'll be so confident on that one. What temperature does water begin to boil? One hundred eight Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> No, One, 108 Fahrenheit's like the temperature of a, like a, a hot spa. A yeah, jacuzzi. it's like a jacuzzi. Let's go to the next hard question. Okay. Who invented the World Wide Web? What? I mean, so the, the, the joke answer here is Al Gore. Al Gore classically has claimed that he invented the internet. I know, but that's not true. But that can't be true. It has to be some like Russian guy. No. Free market wins again? <laughs> yeah. What are you laughing at? <laughs> It was. It wasn't Al Gore, and I. I it, wasn't, it, wasn't, idiot. it wasn't a Russian guy. I'm so sad I have to give you money because you're so fucking dumb. No worldwide. You don't deserve a penny. <laughs> I'll just take the first name. It's a common first name. If you can get it, I'll give it to you. Who invented the World Wide Web? Common first name. Peter. It's not Peter. It's not Peter. <laughs> was it the army? No. It was the guy out of MIT. I'll take just the first name if you can find it. I'll tell Dude, you it's a common crazy. first name. John. What, a, what a free up. John. John is statistically so smart. John. We're going to go with John. Final answer. John Webb. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're going to say John. It's actually the same answer that Peter and Slime gave. And? It's incorrect. The correct answer is Tim. Tim Berners-Lee. 
Tim Berners Lee? Did you, is that ring a bell? That's tough. Only two questions left in the hard round. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. Ready to crack a thousand. I okay. think you have a good chance here. Gotta get one hard question. This is a geography question. Okay. What is the smallest country in the world? Uh, Vatican City. Yeah, I wanna say Vatican That's City. That's correct. Let's go. I actually knew that. I would've got that one. Okay. You need that. Cause I wanna take my grandma there. It's the Wait. only reason I know that. Where's the Vatican? Beat her. Yeah? Trick question. Let's go. We're gonna go with the Catholic orthodoxy. We're gonna go with the Vatican final answer. That is correct. Let's yeah! go! That's a thousand, baby. Let's go. Only one question left in the hard round. Are you ready to jump into it? Let's finish it up. Let's okay. clean it. Let's tap it in. Yeah. How many bones does a shark have? It, you trick question, bastard. That's a, that's a trick question. It has to be. Zero. It's all cartilage. Incorrect. It's 227. Ah! Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> How do we know that? That's <laughs> insane. Are you kidding me? You made a sound like dude. I'm so like, mad. Like Zerg when he gets blasted <laughs> off. You guys were Con! correct. It was correct. Zero bones was correct. Oh! I oh Let's go. Give yeah, it to me. baby. Oh my god. I just, I wanted to. I just wanted to fib a little. How many bones does a shark have? Dude, what? That's like the hardest question. Zero. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. They're all like. Yeah. They don't have a bone. Wait a minute. That's correct. That's wow. huge. <laughs> that is so huge. Wow. <laughs> did Peter get that? He did get that, but I'm amazed that, that Mango got nothing right, and then he got $400 worth of questions, right? He got, right? Yeah, he got the last two. Yeah. yeah. He got the close. last two hard He's ones. He's a late game player. <laughs> he is a late game player. You guys have locked up $1,250. There is a bonus question, however. You can wager up to $1,000, but it is a wager. If you get the question wrong, then you lose all of that money. If you get the question right, then you get all of that money. Oh boy. I'll tell you the category. The category is games. Wait, Peter, what if we just did it all? Oh, jeez. Let's just do it. That's the way you lose. I know, but like if, yeah. if we win, that's amazing. I know. Do you go to Vegas a lot? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a sabbatical. Uh, it's a sabbatical. I, I think I have to wager all because every time I watch a game show and the end and the people just walk away, I get so. It bad. is very unsatisfying. Yeah. So for the content and for the glory, I think we wager it all. all okay. Seven hundred fifty dollars wagered. If you win it, you get fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. The question: Can you name the four corners of a Monopoly board? Tesco, jail, free parking, and then what is top right? No, top rights go to jail. Yeah, right? run it, run it. That's correct. Let's fucking go. Everyone knows. He's a late game player. Oh, He's a late game player. I, I was also, gonna say like Boardwalk. I actually yeah. love Monopoly, so that was very lucky. Holy shit, $1,500, I'm amazed. Now it's pretty clear that Mango and Zane do lack some general knowledge, but they are clutch. And even though they missed most of the questions, they got all of the important ones right. And they had the balls to wager $1,000, something Peter doesn't seem like he's willing to do. And because of that, they ended up with $1,500, which is currently $250 more than Slime and Peter. And the only way they'll win is if Peter goes with Slime's decision to bet it all. A thousand. A rack. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's go. We're doing a new thousand. Lock it in, lock it in, lock it in. Before he changes his mind. Peter, lock it in? Yeah, I guess so. Lock it in, $1,000. If you lose, or if you get it wrong, you lose everything. Name the four corners on a Monopoly board. We're gonna go with go, the jail space where you're in jail, free parking, and then the go to jail space. Oh, wait a minute. Congratulations! Let's go! You hit the multiplier. It was worth taking the oh. risk there, I think, Peter. Okay, yeah, thanks to Slime's balls and Peter's brains, they did end up getting way more money than the eSports pros, but it's not over yet. Sure, brains are an important trait in a human, but it's not the most important one. In my mind, that's being a social, kind, empathetic person. And it doesn't matter if you got shit for brains, you can be a more empathetic and nicer person than somebody with a PhD from Harvard, and in my mind, that makes you a more valuable person on this earth. And to test that, we had one final question. But gentlemen, we're not actually done yet. <sighs> what? What? You might have noticed there's a buzzer in the car with us. Uh-huh. We haven't actually used the buzzer today. Okay. If one of you hits the buzzer, we are going to do a last second question. It's a, gonna be a 1v1 between you two. 
Whoever gets it right gets all the money. The loser gets nothing. You're pitting if us against neither each other of you now. hit the button, then you get to split it. All right. So if neither of you hit this button after I count down from ten, both of you split the money. You walk away with seven fifty each. Okay. If one of you hits it, it's a one v one. Whoever wins the one v one gets fifteen hundred dollars. Three, two. I'm happy with seven fifty. One. That's a good hole. Yeah. That's it. Congratulations! You each win seven hundred fifty dollars in mobile money. Good job. Well done. What this is. That? I cannot believe you didn't go for the one v one. It doesn't matter who hits it, as long as one of you hits it, I will be asking the final question, and then it goes to a 1v1 showdown. One. After everything Peter did for you, all those questions he got right, and what did you do? You hit him with the Heracles? Wow. Tony Starr plays by his own rules, okay? I'm gonna Tony Starr is not friends. Okay, Tony Starr. It's associates. I'm gonna ask a question. How many squares are on a chessboard? 64. That is correct. Let's yes. go! No, you can't, you shouldn't be happy. I stole oh, your money. That was right. That was right. That was right answer. <laughs> he just likes correct answers. Slime, you stole $1,200 from my stepfather. How do you feel? I feel like I did something wrong. You. I, I feel like I got rewarded. I got literally carried through life and then rewarded at the end. That's yeah. crazy. That's 100% what happened. So there it is. Maybe esports pros are a little bit duller than the average person when it comes to general trivia, but they do stick together and they do care for each other. And as far as the average group, well, I think we learned one valuable lesson. Don't fuck with Tony Stark.